So, and these are some of the things that you run into that you don't necessarily plan on doing when you go into construction. Construction, but you have yeah. to do them because you exactly. meet them on the way. So, um, so when we purchased the land, you know, that was already a smaller dam here. Right. But then we noticed that there was more water coming and um, it was because the government actually did some road work on the mountain and mm -hmm. widened the road. So they what? was directing all the water to us. Are you doing this? So this is us. Are you doing this? Yes. So, you know, so now we... I want to ask you, Mr. <laughs> Eric, are you doing this? Hey, we are doing this. <laughs> and we have to do it to control yeah. the water coming off the mountain. You know, what? so, yeah. So, um... Tell me just a little bit about what, where we are now and what I'm seeing now. So, so basically, this is a, a dam that we're creating because, you know, we're in the valley. Yeah. And we have the mountains there, and the government did a huge road project where they right. widened the road, mm -hmm. which we were happy about. Yeah. But then they took all the water and they directed it to us. Yeah. They didn't ask us. They <laughs> <laughs> Did, maybe they didn't know it was it was gonna come here anyway. Hey, I don't think they cared. So yeah. basically, um, we had so it was uh, up to us to yeah. do something with the water. Right. So the dam was here, but we're uh, extending the dam. Okay. Um, so so yeah, so it's much larger okay. now, as you can see. Hey, what's good, everybody? Thank you for checking me out. So this is Echo Simpson. Uh, just now I was speaking to Eric O'Neill. So he's part of the team that is putting up this eco-friendly community for you and myself. Because uh, coming here for the first time in the eastern region of Ghana, I mean so many, but first time in so many, not eastern region of Ghana, but coming here so many for the first time, seeing what Eric and the team are doing is like fabulous. All right, so I know you may have heard of Ghana. Yes, if you haven't been to Ghana yet, you may have read about Ghana. So Ghana is one of the West African uh, countries. Uh, we located down south. Yeah, so we're very close to the sea. All right, so we, we are closer to the Gulf of Guinea. All right, and we have 16 regions. We drove all the way from okay. one of the regions, the most beautiful region, right. which we're is coming. central region of Ghana, through to Accra, ah. and then through to eastern region, where we are currently located in an awesome community, a beautiful town called Somenya. Yeah, so I came here purposely to tour the ongoing project for uh, Eric O'Neill and then the team, putting up this beautiful eco-friendly uh, community for our brothers and sisters who want to come and stay here in Ghana. So we were just talking about the dam. I mean, but this is huge for me. This, this is a lot of money. Hey. This project is a lot of money. It's a lot of money. <laughs> yes, it is a lot of money. And, so, uh, so what I wanted to know is, what is this dam really going to serve your yeah. project? Yeah. So, so basically, uh, it'll be enjoyed by the entire community okay. and the surrounding community. Okay. Um, so, you know, when that water comes off the mountain, mm -hmm. instead of it just flash flooding into okay. the community, okay. it comes into the dam okay. and we can slow release it. Whoa. at that point so Whoa. um yeah and then inside the community we also put lakes lakes like okay three and four acre lakes mm -hmm. you know so that artificial yes why are you doing so much so why are you doing so because much because you know what this is not just we're not just regular developers mm -hmm. but this is actually my retirement community too so <laughs> you know right. so i'm just not developing and then boom i can yeah. leave you yeah but these people are going to be living next to me yes. so i'm like you know um when i started this project i started it thinking that okay if i'm restricted from moving around ghana you know because of all these new laws mm -hmm, about mm -hmm. different things yeah. then where would i want to spend the rest yeah. of my life yeah so i imagine a community where I can spend the rest of my life. Right. If I if I was restricted from moving. Right. And this was it. You right. know, where would I want to stay? Right. right. In a in a nutshell, what you're trying to say is that if you're gonna live in a particular area, you have to make the area comfortable That's for it. you and the people that are and around. And the people around me. Great. And and we wanted to build quality homes because 
I don't want you knocking at my door for the rest of my life. Yes. And I got problems. <laughs> yes. So that's what uh, we're putting together in some place because all of the management team will be living here. Right. So, right. you know, we, we can't get away from the people. So we're like, hey, let's build something we can be proud of. Yeah. This is a legacy. So we can all enjoy at the end we of can the all, day. Yeah. yeah. Uh, beautiful. So I'm currently here in Somania, like I told you. I just came. So I'm going to give my big boss the opportunity to just take me around. So this is just the beginning of my tour. What's the name of your the community you are trying to put up? Uh, it's called Migrating Culture Crossing. Migrating and, uh, Culture. Yeah, and, and so basically um, when we started this, you know, uh, my partner was already using Migrating Culture. So I said, okay, let's call it Migrating Culture Crossing because Cross. In the West, you see a lot of communities called crossing. Okay. And the significance about that for us is that, you know, a lot of people coming back here from the diaspora. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we figure, okay, some 400 years ago, yeah. there's a lot of people crossing involuntarily yeah. from Africa to the West. To the West, yeah. Today, they're crossing back voluntarily yeah. from the West to Africa. Africa. So we say migrating culture crossing. So, yeah. Can I can I give you big up? Hey, you're doing the it. best. Hey, I appreciate it. <laughs> All I right, so let's it. let's go to the gate and just show me everything that anybody watching us right now need okay. to know. Okay. Our whole idea is a food first community. Food first. Yes, that means you know uh, everything growing around your house will be either edible or medicinal. Okay. Um, so yeah, you can see we got lemongrass and turkey berries, mm -hmm. um, oregano. Um, and intentionally planted. Them. Intentionally planted. You know, yeah. So, uh, oh yeah. I love I love how you're getting yourself, hey. you know, oh, into the oh, Ghanaian thing. Oh, I eat all. I I, I chop all the Ghanaian <laughs> food. Oh, wow. Which one? Which uh, one is your favorite? Um, probably uh, uh, contumely and yam. Yeah. And yam. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. That's but so I, nice. I do, you know, the fufu and yeah. I do banku. <laughs> you do I go banku. <laughs> you hey, do kokonte. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on it, ba. <laughs> all right, all right, let's go. So show me around then. All right, so akwaba. Thank you. Uh -huh. So, yeah. So this Hello, is sir. this is it. Um, Cecil is one of the managers here. So Hello. we got a fairly large management team that okay. manage everything. Everything here. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so you know. So this is typically jobs. a model home. Yes. Um, you can see some of the difference. Like this is one of the smallest models. Okay. It's a uh, two, um, actually it's a one bedroom duplex. Oh, okay. You guys, I guess, kind of call it a chamber and hall. Chamber and hall, okay. You know, but it's semi-detached. Okay. So you have two homes in this building. Two homes in this building. Yeah, so you have this home and then there's the exact same home on the other side. Oh, okay. So, um, and you can see some of the differences about our home is that one, we use real hard wood. I saw this. Instead of this engineered stuff. So it lasts forever, you know, and they can get this uh, light or dark. Yeah, and we're making it wow. right on site. You made this right on site? Yeah, yeah. Does yeah. it mean, okay, when you say sustainable, it means that you're trying to produce everything around you Which, to, yeah. to, to cut costs. Exactly, we're trying to use uh, what we have, the available resources that we have access, doesn't mean that we get it, uh, we can do that 100%. Right. But we try to start where we are and um, we increasingly yeah. uh, continue to become more and more self sufficient, sustainable. Uh, and, you know, we're also an off grid community. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so that's what we are about because most of our buyers. They are Ghanaians living mm -hmm. in the diaspora. Okay. And when okay. they come here or invest here, they don't necessarily want to be in Accra, mm -hmm. a big city, because that's what they're leaving. Yeah. And they look around and they see all this land, and that's the, uh, you know, the value to mm -hmm. them. They mm -hmm. see the value in Ghana mm -hmm. and the resources, the land, the peace, and they're like, hey, that's what I want. That's what I and want, yeah. When I, that, and that's how I was when I came. Okay. So basically, I moved, when I moved here, uh, I told my family I, I was going to build a home outside the city mm -hmm. uh, in Ghana, and um, I wanted to be self-sufficient no yeah. matter what happened in the yeah. economy. Yeah. And so that's what I did. I found five acres in the mountains mm -hmm. and built the 
homestead yeah. that was off grid and self sufficient. Mm -hmm. Had my own solar, own borehole, organic farm. So, yeah. And so when I uh, sold that, I had my friends, uh, Native Born, who had a YouTube channel, mm -hmm. to feature it that it was for sale. Yeah, and then you yeah. have somebody come. come so in like ten days. Ten days. Once once Native Born put it on there. Yeah. Because they had already came a couple, maybe a few months and did okay. a video with it. Okay. Me. And then so when I decided to sell it, I mm -hmm. said, hey, why don't y'all put it out there since the video did so well? Mm -hmm. Put it out there that I'm selling it. Selling it. Yeah. They did. Poof. A couple from the U.S. They bought it. Yeah, good uh, African American guy married to a Ghanaian okay. woman. They came and purchased it. Um, real yeah, quick. Yeah, real quick. Yeah, <laughs> no sight unseen. Win. So uh, yeah, so basically, once people start seeing that video of my house, mm -hmm. they start contacting me. Hey, hey. I want to do the same thing in Ghana, but I'm afraid of getting scammed, okay. and that's what led to this. To this, because okay. it's just a bigger version of my lifestyle. You know what I did on the mountain. Wow. You know? So so that was the question that I was going to ask. How did this whole thing come about? And that's it. Yeah. You have. I mean, seeing even just the model home right now, I can tell you that there's a lot coming in. Right. Uh, were, you, were you into bu building, construction, anything like that? You know, um, I had always invested in real estate for okay. 20 back, some back years. In, in the U.S. Yeah, so um, even like when 2008 came, mm -hmm. at that point, I had like maybe uh, $1.4 million worth of investments in okay. real estate. And then we're hit with this real estate uh, bubble burst. Yeah. So, boom, I lost everything. What? Filed bankruptcy, you know. So, <laughs> That's crazy. yeah, it was like, hey, you know, even the lawyers, when mm -hmm. they was looking, it was like, hey, we don't know if you're yeah, ready to get out of this. Anything. You got a lot of debt here. So, um, so, yeah, so I had always played in real estate. And, okay. and my builder, you know, when um, we decided to start this, you know, I had told my builder he should think about developing a community as okay. opposed to homes. Okay. Okay. So now this, so this was the kind of uh, grew from that, mm -hmm. you know, my whole experience in the building arena and my lifestyle. So, um, and, 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 you know, and when I moved, I was thinking that I want to build my perfect community yeah. where I can retire. Yeah. And this, this was it. And this was it. Yeah. No, I, I, I can say that we have a lot of, um, you know, the, the exodus is happening. Yes. You know I mean, like the African diaspora are now looking at coming home. Yeah, and absolutely. I feel like you are a point of contact where anybody who want to come and have a place to lay their head absolutely. can just come to you. That's right. And I think you're doing a wonderful job. Oh, thanks. You're doing thanks. a wonderful job. I get a lot of messages. Echo, I'm coming. I don't know where to, where to <laughs> lay. Where, I want to yeah. get a land. And you yeah. moving all the way to the eastern part of Ghana, eastern region, to Somenia, and work out this is beautiful. And I'm going to do my every bit for this project to go out there. Hey, I, I appreciate it. You yes. Know. So apart from this, right now, how many rooms or how many houses are complete now and they are ready to go? Okay, so basically all of our homes are built to order. Okay. So this is how we sell. Like okay. when we came in here, like, you know, we're a new company. Mm -hmm. So I said, how can I market this thing? Yeah. I said, okay, this is what I'll do for the people who are asking me, can I help them? I said, now, I don't have a lot of money. I said, but what I can do is that if you agree to pay all the money's up front, I'll give you a 50% discount on the home. 50% discount. 50%, but you got to pay me all the money up monies. front because what that does is it gives me cash flow to build so to I don't build have it. to go out to investors right. and, and try and get right. two, three million dollars. Right. So I say, you know, um, if you do that, then you also have to agree that you can't change or customize anything. anything. We got to It has to go out. with the flow from your side. Exactly. So that, wait, in, in that sense, do you give the person a list of house designs that they can pick from? Yeah. So we, we have about uh, eight different model homes. Okay. We started from a studio, which is okay. the size of a nice hotel room, mm -hmm. you know, duplex studio yeah. sold out. Um, and you're standing in the duplex one bedroom here. Okay. 
and we go all the way up to four bedroom, okay. single family, you okay. know, detached homes. Mm -hmm. So something for every Everybody, size, yeah. you know, family. Um, and most people come in here, they don't want this very large space. Yes. They want amenities. They want uh, to be in an environment, the environment where, they can, where they can easily get everything that they need. Exactly. Okay. So, um, so that's what we're building, you know. So like, uh, like I say, it's all about food first. So mm -hmm. we have 30 acres uh, dedicated just for an organic food forest. Wow. You know, so, yeah. <laughs> I see you're, you're, you're a natural organic person, oh, food I, person. Yeah, that's, you know, it's all about the food, you know. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, when we go over here and I show you the nursery, sure. Sure. Yeah, you're gonna be mind blown, but but, but yeah. Take me, but what, so what, with this, you can see. Yeah. Um, we got tiles that uh, you know they're ceramic tiles, but they resemble wood tiles. Wood. I was gonna ask know. that. Yeah, because you know we're used to wood in the West, mm -hmm. but you can't do wood, wood here because yeah. it warp because uh, of the heat. So um, we do ceramic tiles. We do granite countertops, mm -hmm. which is something you typically don't see here a yeah. lot. So um, yeah. So um, we have POP ceilings. Mm -hmm. The home comes standard with a ceiling fan. Ceiling fan. It comes. Yes, I was going to ask that. Now let me ask you: When somebody says, "Okay, I am ready," mm -hmm. does it come completed, finished? Um, the first, the first home buyers, they mm -hmm. got theirs completely furnished, furnished because they took a big risk with us. Yes. So we said, "Hey, if you buy now, you put your fifty you know, you get your 50% discount, mm -hmm. pay all your money. We'll include the furniture, the furniture. and the appliances. Okay. So it, those first group of home buyers, they had it like that. Everything. Wow. Yeah. And now, you know, you, we have furniture packages that you buy. Okay. So you can still, okay. you know, because a lot of people okay. come and they bill. They're okay. like, well, I don't want to go shopping for furniture. Okay. Yeah. We'll give you a furniture package. You can choose the appliances, mm -hmm. you know, and you can mm -hmm. see we try to, uh, stick with uh, Ghana brand, so okay. we're using NASCO okay. for the appliances. I like that. You know, so um, yeah, yeah, you know, and uh, you look in here, some things that they don't do, we do like a whole house water heater. Oh, for the whole house? Yeah, so that, that for the whole house, wow. that'll work for. Um, yeah, and as you come through here, you have. The bathroom, they could choose either a walk-in mm -hmm. uh, shower or a bathtub. Okay. Yeah. You okay. See, very oh, this is, solid. This is, this is pretty cool. Yeah. So we're trying to, yeah, use very durable uh, materials. Materials. Yeah. yeah. And you have another door, so your company doesn't have to come through your bedroom to get to the bathroom. Okay. So you have okay. So if, if 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 you have somebody out there. They can, they and then can it can still right be through. like a master bedroom for you when you close this side. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, and you see we got plenty of wardrobe space. Yeah. Even though it's a small uh, one-bedroom duplex, there's mm -hmm. plenty of wardrobe, of wardrobe space. There's a lot of things you can yeah. have in there, a lot yeah. of spaces. Yeah, so very, yeah. And they can choose, you know, one of the things they can choose is uh, light or dark wood. Okay, color. it is what you, you will get. Yeah. Whatever you get, that is what you're gonna. Exactly. Talk about. So okay. you light or dark, and right. and um, they can choose to have AC. We will we will wire the homes for ACs, ACs. in each room. Okay. But the, that will be an extra thing for you to do if you want it. Yeah. Okay. If you want the AC, it'll be an extra one thousand okay. dollars for each AC. Okay. All of our homes are priced in U.S. dollars, okay, by the way. Yeah. So, um, but you know they'll already be wired. But right. if you want to put it in there. Um, the blinds also come standard mm -hmm. in, in the house. Um, yeah, so so this is this is like this is like for for a single person. Yeah. I mean, this, this is like a cool a place for or, you know, someone who has moved in fresh in Ghana and need a place to stay. This is like the yeah. best, the perfect place. Yeah. Because I mean, you have your bedroom in there, you have your kitchen here. Exactly. You have your washroom. This is like cute. Yeah. This is like a cute house. Yeah, and you don't have to do nothing but just come and enjoy. Yeah. It's a solution. You don't have to go out there signing no uh, confusing land yeah. documents, trying to build. Mm -hmm. You know, because what I see 
so often is people come here and say, I'm, I'm going to build me a house. And I'd be like, have you ever yeah. built a house in the U.S.? No. No. Uh, and they start, they start <laughs> for, the, for one month, two months, they're like, I'm tired already. Hey. It's not easy, you. Yeah, then they're <laughs> like, oh, I lost all my money. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I am very happy you've been here. How many, how many years have you been here? Eight years now. Eight years. Eight, yeah, I haven't, I haven't left Ghana since I've been Little here. Little minute. I came here eight years ago. I haven't left because I just got so busy working. Okay. Start looking for land, start building a house, and time just goes mm -hmm. by so quickly. I read, so, I read somewhere that you got your citizenship. I, I got my citizenship. Then you're a Ghanaian right now. December 2022. I got my citizenship. Wow, hey, congratulations. So I'm, no, I'm no longer O'Bruni. <laughs> I'm, I'm a real Ghanaian. Yeah, you're a Ghanaian. What is, it? what is your Ghanaian name? Uh, Kwesi. Kwesi. Sandy Bond. Oh, Kwesi. <laughs> Kwesi, yes. that is good. So, Kwesi, I want to ask you a quick one, but let's uh -huh. go out okay. and then ask you this question. I like the dust. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. So, you know, because a lot of our uh, home buyers, mm -hmm. they're going to be Airbnb in their, 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 their Airbnb, their house. Yeah, okay. So, okay. they're going to have a door. That uh, allows them to see through a camera. Okay. Yeah. You know, okay. So. Okay. So um, let's move around a little bit. Okay. We're gonna go to the nursery over here. Okay. And all of our homes come standard with security cameras. Security camera. And we'll have 24 by 7 security in the here. homes as well. Wow. So they'll have uh, digesters, so you don't have to have a truck to come and pump the pump waste. It, yeah. Yeah. So to just turn it into fertilizer. What? So. Yeah, so we, we're completely self-sufficient. Well, Everything I'm loving, we can, I'm loving this we can do already. ourselves. Now, now, somebody who is watching my, my video right now is like, Hey, Ako, I'm interested. I want to move in. I want to, I want to, I am ready for this. What is the process? So basically, um, we have a very thorough website. Okay. And um, once they go out there on the website, they can place their order right there. It won't ask them for any money, okay. but they just place the order. And once we get the order, mm -hmm. we verify, tell them to send us a copy of their ID, okay. and we send them a construction agreement. Okay. And then once they send us that construction agreement, mm -hmm. uh, they have 10 days to wire their funds. Okay. It's a very simple process. And they can also contact us uh, via WhatsApp okay. on the website. Right. Uh, you see all of our contact, and yeah. you know, we respond immediately. Okay. So, okay. Um, so when they go on the website, they will have the different kind of uh, structures the and price, the prices. Yeah, we have, we have the, all of the model homes. We have virtual walkthroughs. We have, yeah. video, we have everything on that web. Frequently asked questions. Right. So uh, it's, it's very, very detailed. Detailed. Yeah, so they'll see it. Wow. Um, so, yeah, this is, uh, this is area the nursery. Is the nursery. And uh, uh, this is uh, Fofo. Fofo is the lands manager responsible for the organic farming, okay. and he's responsible for the solar systems. Okay. So he's an uh, engineer, IT person turned um, organic, organic farmer. Organic farmer. farmer. So, IT to farming. Yes. So... <laughs> So he can tell you about, you know, what you're seeing here in the, okay. uh, in the nursery area here. Uh, we're currently here uh, at the nursery. Uh, he already talked about, I mean, with the idea of organic food. Yeah. So we're here going to talk to a representative. What's your name again, brother? That's Fofo. I'm well, Fofo. Fofo. Yeah. yeah. This your name is kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> brother. Brother, okay. literally, that was the meaning. Okay, brother. brother. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, brother, take us through this place. Okay, so basically, we would have started from uh, outside, mm -hmm. so you can see the view of the whole place. Okay. But this small seclusion is uh, our greenhouse okay. for propagation of the seedlings. Okay. But the whole stretch here is two acres. Two acres. Yeah, so basically, okay. what is being done on these two acres is mm -hmm. to produce seedlings that will be going into the 30 acre organic food forest. Okay. So basically what you are seeing here is varieties of fruits, like berries, fruits, and nuts. Okay. Yeah. So we have about 51 plus varieties of fruits and, you know, berry seedlings okay. over here for the 30 acre organic food forest. So the 30 acre food forest, um, someone who is living here, what is what is the opportunity for that person to enjoy that okay very good question so the idea is we are not just you know 
producing homes or another conventional real estate. Okay. So basically, we want them to have the food that they consume okay. from the community. Okay. So we have something like food credits that uh, you may have to give the food forest, mm -hmm. so you can get some credit from. The, 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 the forest. Okay. So you okay. come back here and volunteer, uh -huh. and it's not compulsory, compulsory but yeah. you volunteer, you, you get, can get some credit. <laughs> yeah. And that, that will also be open to the public. To the public. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so tell us some of the, some some of the, of the yeah. varieties. So you come through this way. Mm -hmm. I'll show you that thing from here. So, you know, there are some things that you may not see elsewhere, but as you are coming here, you see. So we produce these, you know, seedlings. Mm -hmm. This is fig. Produce fig here, fig. Fig. Yeah, F I G. Okay. Fig. Okay. Which are already producing fruits, which will be populating the place. Okay. We have these ones are uh, dragon fruits. Dragon fruits. Uh, you've heard of dragon fruit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is dragon fruit. We have aki. Aki, yeah. We have I think cinnamon. Aki, yeah. yeah. And then the dragon fruit, we have variety. We have the, the yellow, mm -hmm. the red, and then the white. Okay. So these are all, you know, varieties okay. of okay. dragon fruit. And what fruit. is that? This, this yeah. one? Lettuce. So, yeah, these, these are. Um, uh, green onion. Green onion. Yeah. Oh, I said lettuce. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and these are green onion. Okay. We also have peppers of different, okay. you know, uh, varieties. Okay. That we are producing for mm -hmm. the food forest, right. and then we have avo avocado. These are avocados. Which which we call pear. Which we call pear. Okay. Yeah. Based, but they are avocado actually. Okay. Yeah. Avocados, and then we have sour soup. Sour sop. Sour sop. This is the cancer, you know, plant. Oh, wow. Yeah, this, this plant is very good in curing cancer. We also have a noni. And I think the, the Ghanaians call it aluguntukwe. Yeah. Uh, aluguntukwe. Aluguntukwe. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. okay. What's, the, what's the name again? Sour sop. Sour sop. Yeah, okay. Sour sop, yeah. Okay. Aluguntukwe. Aluguntukwe. And then we have noni. Noni. Yeah. yeah, yeah also, okay. we have this leaf here. Those who have to deal with sugar mm -hmm. you know basically what we do is uh, whatever we do is either medicinal or you know food yeah so this is what we call stevia stevia yeah so if you don't eat sugar you can okay. use ah, this very sweet yeah very so sweet. it's sweet very yeah. sweet yeah okay. very sweet 100 times sweeter than sugar with mm. zero calories yeah yeah, yeah. And unlike sugar, it doesn't decay your teeth. Yeah. And it doesn't give you blood mm. problems, yes. sugar wow. problems. And then we have Moringa. Moringa. The original Moringa. The original Moringa. Mm -hmm. And then we have some grafted has avocados. You know, okay. the avocados too, we have varieties. Yeah. This one is very good for um, some of the export market. You know, yeah. they, they, some people want these varieties. Right. So this is has avocado. Okay. And then behind you, we have jackfruit jackfruit yeah this, so this is jackfruit here see, see leaves okay yeah very good they are in the family of breadfruit okay so this is jackfruit here we have breadfruit down there okay yeah so basically we have all these varieties some there are many there are many so we just did some grafting and then conditioning for this apple these are real apple pink lady apple okay these are pink lady apples we will be having them here yeah. and these are uh, macadamia macadamia yeah macadamia nuts. Yeah. <laughs> okay we're going to be having macadamia here we produce it right here yeah. on site so going through the stuff we have uh, the passion fruits okay we do a lot of passion fruits passion fruit a lot of people mm. have been asking me if in ghana we we produce. plant yeah we, we produce yeah. but yeah, yeah, yeah we're, we're doing fruits. a lot of things that you don't normally see in ghana like strawberries yeah and apples and things like that that have to be imported, imported yeah. uh, you can grow them you just have to have the right environment environment uh, right. we'll be doing aquaponics you see where we'll be doing aquaponics yeah. that'll be connected to yeah. our fish ponds Whoa. so the water from the fish pond can feed the plants okay then it goes back to it filters through the plants and goes back to the fish yeah. wow. so our whole filtration system is going on it's going zero waste I mean, you're making good use of everything. Everything. We don't want to waste anything. <laughs> wow. We don't want to waste anything. So basically, that right. is the concept. Mm, okay. That's the concept. All okay. the things you see in the aquaponic is going to be connected to the fish tanks. You, uh, that is this? This one. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, yeah. So that's going to take water from the fish pond. And then yeah, so back here, you see the fish pond back here. 
now we have, uh, I think this one is filled with tilapia. This one has tilapia. And uh, catfish. Yeah. Okay. Tilapia and catfish. Now we are measuring them here. Then we'll populate yes, them. We have and more. So, as a homeowner, to come in, you know, get free uh, fresh fish. Wow. You just okay. buy. Yeah. Yeah. Now he, he said, uh, fresh, not Fre free now. <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah, fresh, fresh fish. Yeah, not, fresh fish. Not free, not but free. fresh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you need to pay for crab. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So and this, I can see, is the onion. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. All organic, you All know. Organic. So, yeah. All organic, so mm -hmm. you can shoot. Oh, straight up, you just pick it no up. No chemicals whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And then we are really we want to keep, uh, you know, what our homeowners eat mm -hmm. closer to them. You see, and uh, we make it original. Okay. So whatever we producing, they, they are having the ability to see yeah, what we put in. Yeah, what they what they plant and what that's they right. see. Exactly. Yeah, because yeah. that's how I want to live. I want to be able to walk down the street and I see somebody doing something to the food, mm -hmm. you know, like, mm -hmm. hey, what you putting on the food, you know, you but know, yeah. when you're importing everything, you can't do that. Yeah. When it comes, when you get imported uh, tomato paste from mm -hmm. China, mm -hmm. you don't know what's in that. What's in there? The, 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 <laughs> but we the, take it and we even want it more than exactly. the, what we grow here. Wow. So we are expanding the, the greenhouse, as you can see, down yeah. there. So we're going to be doing a lot. And this, is, this is a lot of work. You know about um when we take 10 we can say ghana enjoys eight out of 10 sunshine the sun right, right. we enjoy 10 or eight out of 10. exactly that means that are we looking at uh getting involved with solar panels or are we just going to be doing the ecg national grid you know we don't we don't even have ecg grid running back you have nothing to do with ecg yeah we are totally off grid totally solar panels uh, so that's the route that we're taking because we want to be completely self-sufficient sufficient okay and um you know it doesn't mean that in the future we won't have it but right now but right now yeah yeah all of we have solar panels on the house and then we just added some additional because you know we brought some equipment in so we added some addition so so as we speak now this is providing power exactly. this is providing this is power five kilowatts yeah so as we bring in machines like for the carpenter and stuff like that he's like i need more power so mm -hmm. we just boom throw some additional solar panels yeah. up so we can uh you know each house will have solar panels. It's all, okay okay this is this is getting interesting I mean, if you're watching this video right now and you still not made up your mind as to where you want to live, where you want to stay, then I may want to recommend this to you. Because like I see it online, you talk about your project, but today me being here, I'm having a feel of how exactly the whole place is going to be like right. living yeah. off grid. That is it. Yeah. Wow. That, that is it. So we're going to go back here to pocket A now. To okay. See the homes that All are right. coming up. All right. Let's go. And so, this is the first pocket. And this is the first of four pockets. So it's gonna have like a pocket like this four times. Exactly, exactly. So this pocket, of course, has about twenty homes. The other pockets have about thirty homes each. Okay. And um, yeah, so so are you are you doing all the pockets at the same time, or you're gonna finish the first pocket? We're gonna finish this first pocket. Uh, I mean, but we're starting the second pocket. Uh, as soon as the, the it's about to, the the rainy season is about okay. to start, so okay. we started clearing it. But as soon as the rainy season stops, we'll jump on that second pocket. Right. Does the start. does the first pocket have the same design? Um, it is actually like a big circle, a half a circle. So it just goes around in a, a big uh, half of a circle. Yeah. And so, so I'm talking about the, the individual houses. Yes. They have the same design. Maybe two it, bedroom. All of them are two bedrooms yes. or three bedrooms. Yeah. Tell us a, a little so bit about that. So you can that. go, and we're gonna walk in. We're gonna walk in this one. This is a, the largest model this one. we sell, which is a four bedroom, okay. single family home. All right. Home. All right. Let's go. Then. All right. So. All right. So yeah. So out this of, is out a, of the twenty structures that we're gonna have in the first pocket. Uh -huh. This is one of the structures. This is one, and yeah, so this is the largest model which we sell, which is a 
four bedroom, mm -hmm. two and a half bathroom home. Okay. And um, can you can you take us in the tour? Yes. Yeah. So this one, and uh, we're actually going to turn it into a uh, wellness center that okay. will be staffed by a doctor. Okay. So we have a wellness center and it'll have a spa. Mm -hmm. She'll be doing colonics, okay. you know, you come in for massage. Okay. Um, so, uh, but this is like an open floor plan where you yeah. have the living room mm -hmm. and the kitchen joined. Okay, here? Yeah, so the kitchen over here, living room over here. I, I, guess, I guess it's gonna be an open, open Yeah, kitchen. like an open floor plan. Mm -hmm. Uh, sliding, uh, sliding glass door here. Okay. You see, you have plenty uh, mm. windows up windows. top. Mm. A lot of windows. Okay. Um, so yes, <laughs> yeah. So that's actually a bedroom. That's but a we'll bedroom. Turn it into a spa area. Okay. And, and one of the washrooms. Yeah, one of the half. Yeah, this is the. Uh, yep, yeah, half washroom, and then this is where originally it would be. Uh, for a laundry area, but we're turning it into a colonic area for okay. her. So, yeah, then back here you have like a storage area, storage a pantry, area. Yeah. and another bedroom. Then it's a full bathroom. Four bathrooms. Yeah, yeah, four. Yeah, because this is two and a half baths. Okay. So you have two four baths and one half. Okay. So that's a four. Four, okay. And it's another bedroom back mm -hmm. there. But I, I see I see you don't have no. uh, the bedroom with a um, washroom in it. Oh, we have. This oh, is the master. Okay, this is the master. Okay. Yes, we have. Yeah, so this is the largest model. Okay. You can see, you know, so a person can just come out their door and mm -hmm. take some fresh air. Yeah, and you have it's a lot of room to socialize and okay. with your neighbors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, a lot of personal but, but room. But before, be, before we continue this, I've seen that the roofing is kind of different from the ones I know of. Yes. So, so tell us a little bit about this. Typically, thing. you only see... Uh, these steel trusses on commercial buildings because they cost more. Okay. So um, we felt strongly enough to put them in our homes. Okay. So, so this is expensive. Yes, it's more expensive because normally you have wood, wood frames. Yeah. So these are more expensive. And you also see the aluminum foil looking yeah, stuff. Yeah, I see it over there. That's called radiant barrier. Mm -hmm. And it uh, actually reflects the sun to help keep the home cooler. Whoa. So... Yeah, so we went through a lot of effort to make yeah, sure people make are comfortable. Right. Yeah, you see we're using the compressed earth blocks and we're not using the concrete blocks. This which one? also, yeah, we just, yeah, you look under here. Yeah, these are just compressed earth blocks okay. under there that um, you stack on top of each other. Mm -hmm. And then we just plaster, plaster over it. The, okay. But it helps keep the home cooler as well. Right, right. Per, per the conversation that we had, earlier on. I remember that you said, when I, when I asked about the prices, and then you were like, this place, you order it, and then it get built for you. Yeah. So can I say that someone has ordered this? Yeah, every home that you see back here has already been purchased. What? We've sold, we've uh, started this almost three years ago, mm -hmm. um, and uh, we have had two homes to be completed okay and all of the rest of these homes will be completed before okay. the end of this year before the end of yes yeah, so um, so we've sold over 70 homes back here over 70 homes yes wow, and I, this, we've is, sold, this is really going well we've sold to people from the u.s the mm -hmm. uk mm -hmm. canada mm -hmm. jamaica Germany, okay. Netherlands, okay. Denmark, okay. Hungary. Uh, so just all <laughs> you got to mention all the, hey, all the countries all in the them. world. Yeah, so, you know, um, and most of them tend to be Ghanaians living, living in the diaspora. Oh, okay. Yep, and and then, I believe that because they've lived in the diaspora for a longer time, they are accustomed to the way they live, like the way they build, and then the yeah. comfort that comes with how they build. Maybe yeah. that is why you have a lot yeah. of Ghanaians who are living abroad, you know, purchasing 
uh, this kind of project? Yeah, or what do you think? And, and, and a lot of times they've been in these large countries for so long with these big cities, mm -hmm. they see the value in what they left in Ghana. Okay. They're like, man, I want nature. I want to be close to nature. nature. Yeah. And so when they see our community, they're like, hey, that's what I've been looking for. I can't find okay. it in okay. uh, Atlanta, Georgia. I can't mm -hmm. find that in New York City. I can't yeah. find that in London, yeah. you know, in Toronto. Yeah. So it's like, man, I value you that. You value that one. So, yeah. So All we're right, going to so go can... into this yeah. unit. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I think you know the uh, YouTuber Jasmine Ama. Yeah, shout out to Jasmine uh -huh. Ama. I've been watching your videos. So. Yeah, so <laughs> she's one of our home buyers here. Oh, it's for real. <laughs> yeah, right over there. She uh, bought the uh, studio. That's the smallest one we sell. Okay. We sold out, but. She's purchased one of those units. One of, She's oh. one of the first people to come back here and uh, wow. support us. Wow. So, so shout out to Jasmine. You're not only here to be pushing Ghana. You're also here to invest in the economy. Thank you for mm -hmm. purchasing a house here. Yes. All right. Yes. So, um, so this is uh, the same as the model. The model home. Yeah. yeah. So we'll go into it and. Just about finishing this one, you can see the light colored yeah. cabinets. Okay, this one is the, the color is different from the other one. Ah, yeah, so this yeah. has the light mm. color. Yeah, this is just like the model home, it's just like the model, yes. And it's one bedroom, one bedroom, one bedroom. You yes. go in like this, yep. You have your whole cabinet yeah. wardrobe here. Thing, it just, and then just there's like, a door that goes to the washroom. Yep. Well, now I'm getting used to the details so I can, yeah. you know, give the details there myself. There you go. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. With a nice marble yeah. thing here. Granite. Yep. Yep. Granite countertop. Yeah. And real hardwood cabinets. Yeah. But I see this is bigger than the other one. Does it mean? There's another one at the back. Um, no, it's it's the same size, but it it has two units. It, this this uh, building has two homes in it. Yeah. One on yeah. this side, one on that side. But it's the same as the model home. Okay. It's just that uh, we had more furniture in the model home, the so model, it looks yeah. smaller. Right. You know, we don't have the table. Here. So this one is like getting ready to get the uh, furniture work and everything. That that's there. right. That's right. right. Yeah. How many How many are you working on now? So right now, you see all of these homes are being worked on. Mm -hmm. So you'll see, you know, so that's about uh, 20 homes. Are these guys working right Yeah, now? so all of them, they're working on another home coming up. You see the foundation yeah. uh, coming up there. Wow. I, I, I foresee this to be a car park? Yeah, so um, each, so if it's a duplex, they yeah. get one car park, park each. And if it's a single detached home they mm -hmm. get two two okay. parking spaces okay. um, you can see we have two bore we have a borehole here mm -hmm. and then we have a borehole over there yeah. so does every house has its own uh, tank water, water tank? tank yes that's okay. true every house so you have this big one coming from the borehole mm -hmm. and then we will even filter we're building like you see these green barrels yeah we're building a water filtration system for okay. the entire pocket okay so the water will be drinkable you don't even have to go out and buy bottled water, water. it'll be drinkable when uh, it gets to your home wow. and then you'll have extra filters uh on the back of your home that that means the water that we're going to have in our homes will really be filtered yes clean water uh-huh so you can okay. see building this uh, water filtration system okay. so you'll have you know the uh, gravels and then you have it go through the uh, sand okay. and then it go through the charcoal and it come out uh, oh, wow. drinkable and um, yeah and you know we'll have it tested and everything mm -hmm. to make sure that we know drinkable. that it's drinkable and when to uh, resurface you yeah. know service the filters so the you know the extra the value add that you get here is uh, huge yeah it's a lot you know people think that oh you know um why i can just go and build a house for yeah. cheaper yeah. <laughs> uh, you're gonna have but something that's the, no. the, the benefit that comes with it oh yeah the amenities that comes with exactly living here being here yeah you, you you know most people just want to 
uh, move here hassle free, mm -hmm. not have to worry about getting scammed or right. taking advantage of, then this is it. This is for you. This is for you. Yes. So if you're watching this video right now, uh, I like I like how you start your video, and then you 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 come in with a brick and then you say what. Well, you be back on how do you how do you start? Oh, I want you to, oh, I want you to say yeah. yeah. I, I just tell them, you know, um, we on site today uh -huh. and we're gonna be talking to Brother Echo uh -huh. Simpson when I return when I, on the Eric McNeil yeah. Be Free Show. <laughs> I like that one. I watch it and I'm like, hey. I'm always laughing when I see it. So what exactly is going on right now here? All right, so this is a house that we're doing here. Okay. And you see the foundation is uh coming up okay. uh here. So I think we have three more homes uh, coming back. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So you see, yeah. And how long, how long does it take for a typical um, house to be built? How long does it take? Um, really, I mean, we can, we can build a house in six months. So I, less. It all depends on, on uh, basically how much you want to pay, okay. right? Because right. our program is what we do is we say, okay, if you're going to, if I'm going to charge you 50% of the price mm -hmm. half, then you have to give me three years before okay. you get your house. Okay. Now we have another program where uh, we'll take off 40% mm -hmm. and we'll give it to you in two years. In two years. Okay. You know, okay. now if you're willing to pay retail price, we'll give it to you in, in a year, in a year. Uh, you know, okay. but so it's all a matter of timing because what I'm doing is I'm using the money as cash flow. Yeah. So that's why I'm giving you 50% off, yeah. you know, if you yeah. give me three years to build your home mm -hmm. and it gives me money for road infrastructure, yeah. for right. doing other things. Right. So, yeah, so it's, you know, so it's not about us because a lot of people come to us and say, hey, I like what y'all doing, but why is it taking you so long so to long, build yeah. the house? You know, it's not that it takes us a long time. Mm -hmm. It's just that we're giving you 50% off, <laughs> yeah. you know, and, and that's what I need. Ones are kind of like almost done. Yeah, I you mean, see they, that? They, they just need to be plastered. Yeah, let's go, let's go to that side. Yeah. Why did you choose to use um, the, the bricks? compressed earth blocks? Yeah, because I know you said you want to go yeah. off grid. But yeah. why did you choose to use that? Because it's more sustainable. I mean... Africans have been building with uh, cement blocks. You know, well, no, Africans have been building with mud, with mud forever. Yeah, way back, yeah. <laughs> you know, and yeah. it works. Yeah. It keeps the home cooler. Yeah. And so this is just really an updated version of a mud yeah. hut. Okay. You know, you just okay. have a technological advance to yeah. turn the mud into, into a block. Yeah. Instead of, you know, just using the mud and then we plaster over it to make it last longer. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, this, this house will last you forever. How many workers do you have here? It, I, I, it varies uh, depending on what we're doing. What we're doing. Okay. Like sometimes you might see 15 workers, while other times you come, like when we start the, the foundations for mm -hmm. Pocket B, yeah. you'll see 50 workers. 50? Yeah, you'll see 50 people <laughs> yeah. out here trying to get those, yeah. Well, I think you are also adding up to uh, what is happening in Ghana is economically, you're helping Ghana, right? Because right. with this project, I mean, you're, let's, let's even use the 50 people that we talked about. It means you're giving them work to do. Exactly. You're giving them money in their pocket. Yes. But at least reducing unemployment rate. That's right. How has it been with you working with some Ghanaians on this project? I mean, we have a good management team. You, mm -hmm. you met Cecil, yeah. um, and then we have about uh, four more people who okay. are part of the management team, okay. all Ghanaians, okay. uh, and they are able to manage the process mm -hmm. to make sure we, we get things done on right. time, on yeah. budget, mm -hmm. and to specification. Okay. So it, it's been great. Um, you know, I've heard people when I came, they say, that's so my yeah area. You know, some people say, it's a lot of crime and mm -hmm. it's a lot of this, but mm -hmm. we haven't experienced uh, problems like, yeah. like that, you know, just some minor petty, petty problems. But, right. 
the truth of the matter is that when you bring uh, economic opportunities yeah. to an argument, you know, to an area, mm -hmm. then you cut down on the crime because right. you're giving the young people something, uh, something to look forward right. to. They can come here, mm -hmm. you know, anybody if they had the choice okay. to uh, go out and steal mm -hmm. versus go out and Work. earn a living, they right. would choose to earn a living. Right. But if we don't give them the opportunity to earn a living, then of course they're going to turn to stealing. Right. <laughs> you know, I mean. <laughs> True. That's just how that it works. So true. what we, I'd prefer to look on the bright side and say, okay, let's bring in uh, economic opportunities to this yeah. area. Yeah. Let's start to teach these young people that they can earn a living, right. uh, you know, and, and support their families and, you know, and feed themselves. Right. And, right. Um, and that usually works out. Okay. And so it's our vision. When I came here, I said, you know, um, People don't really know about the Eastern region. What they know is Cape Coast, Cape you know, Coast, where you're at. And so all the black people from the diaspora, first thing they want to go is to the slave dungeon. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that, but there's more to Ghana than the slave dungeons right. over uh, right. there. Right. So I want them to know that, hey, you come to Eastern region and see what we're doing over yeah. here. Yeah. We got a major university. Mm -hmm. um, when I looked at this place and I looked at the University of the Environment and Sustainable Development coming right. up, and I thought about, you know, in the United States, you have Silicon Valley, mm -hmm. which is one of the largest uh, research parks on Earth. And you got a lot of entrepreneurial talent that flocks to Silicon Valley. Right. It's known all the way uh, around the world. Right. And it started because the universities there mm -hmm. attracted these people and you had talent. Okay. Why can't we do the same, same thing right thing here? Is, you right. have all this land. You have a new university here. Mm -hmm. And um, so... I look at it and say, hey, this could be the next, uh, you know, kind of Silicon Valley, yeah. Somanya yeah. Valley, right. if you will, right. where you attract companies that specialize in uh, sustainability, sustainability, you know, well, and, well, and you grow. Here, which exactly. Is and yeah. so it helps all of us right. to grow. Right. And, um, and you have a, you know, we're not only advertising migrating culture crossing mm -hmm. as a residential area, but we're saying this is also uh, going to be a resort area right. where people come from all around the world mm -hmm. just to visit here and to take part in the wellness center, right. uh, to come host events here, yeah. um, you know, to come be a part of what we're doing, right. uh, to come even learn how to develop their own sustainable right. uh, communities and take them back to their countries, and take them back to their areas. Mm -hmm. So they, so we'll partner, we have a partnership with okay. the university and, um, you know, um, where we'll be using their students over here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, because, you know, they're learning uh, what we are actually putting Put into practice. In yeah. And so we'll invite them over and we'll also host classes right. with them. Right. So we have uh, big plans big in plans 10, years, year. 10 years, 10 years, uh, the whole world will know about so many so, uh, If you're watching me right now, this is Echo Simpson. Uh, myself and my crew, we drove all the way from Cape Coast about, let's say, five hours to so many, just to show you that, yes, a lot is happening. Uh, we can talk about Cape Coast, yes, talk about Cebu, yes. There's also another big project going on here. And it is my duty to let you know that there are other options as to where you want to reside or you want to you know develop and everything we came here migrating culture crossing that's right? it and mm -hmm. i've seen a lot now your last word to anybody else who is watching this channel right now what is the last what is i want you to brief everything and invite people here right now okay well first and foremost i just want you to go to echo simpson's channel Hit that subscribe button, like, share, comment, and support. We see this as a solution mm -hmm. to people who are coming here saying, oh, uh, I got scammed, oh, I lost all my money. Right. Well, you don't, it doesn't have to be like that. Right. You can come here and there's a, an easy solution. Just purchase your home at Migrating Coach at Crossing and we, we'll do the groundwork. Right. I've already lost money out there. I've already been scammed. Mm -hmm. So I know the potholes yeah. and you know, I've developed the relationships mm -hmm. with people here. The politicians support us, right. the schools support us, um, the other businessmen support us. Mm -hmm. So they know what we're doing. They know it's legitimate. They've put their names behind it. Right. A lot of the social media influencers have mm -hmm. come here. They've seen that this is real. So I'm saying, hey, Come here and be a part of what we're doing 
and um, we'll take all the hassle and um, you just come here with your bags and yeah. you can enjoy. <laughs> all right, just come with your bag, just book a ticket, book your flight ticket, come to Ghana, locate so many. Just Get send me an done. email, I will just connect you to him and I will leave his details in the description below. Just pack your bags, come here and enjoy a different lifestyle all together. Thank you very much for checking me out. Make sure you put up a comment, like, share this video, and let's push this to the whole world. Thank you very much.